All right, welcome back to game three of the Super Bowl Open. We got everybody now is somebody who hasn't been on camera yet, so this is our first first look at our other lefty, and that's Gary Livingston. And our first look at Tim Lucan from uh, South Dakota. Ooh, Jay Watts from Omaha. Pretty good looking shot for a pocket 710. Tony Mana hits the pocket but doesn't carry the 10. Tony bowls about everything in the Midwest area and wins about everything in the Midwest area. So he is always a threat in every tournament he enters. First at longtime PBA player Dave Axon from Omaha. Looking shot from him. His reaction looks like he was a bit surprised by that, but Keith Lesko from Texas now. Jay on that shot.
Keith is still talking about the Brooklyn last shot. He got away with it and got nine out of it, but... <laughs> Well, let's see if Tony can get back on track here. That's a better shot. Gene's got the front eight down on lane nine and ten. I'm about ready to leave. I can't live stream because I don't have, but I, I'm, I'm da uploading game one right now out in the car. So it's, but yeah, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube? Yeah. Uh, PBA8634. As with most PBA shots, this is where the transitions start to get kind of funny. You see a lot of ball changes going on. Well, 
Eugene's bid for 300 ended in the ninth with a 310 baby split. Sorry, it's actually ended in the eighth with a 310 baby split, so. Toby Contreras, our regional director, is here with the latest standings. At the end of game two, Eugene McCune was your leader at plus 94. Dave Reich in second at 82, tied with Keith Lesko, who's taking a re-rack here, but Keith's bowling pretty good with the exception of third frame, which he told us about. Tim Baxter sitting in fourth at plus 55, and Kevin Christie in fifth at 49. Your sixth place, Tony Manna Jr. at plus 41, and Joel Carlson at plus 30. Gary Livingston plus 23, Scott Merritt at plus 7, 
And Dave Messler and Jay Watts were tied at plus two. Jay's struggling a bit here on lane one and two. So. Looks like he's going for another ball change now. That's three in a row for Tony Mann on the left lane without getting any on the right, so he's going to have to get that right lane figured out. Keith Lesko certainly has it figured out. The tournament leader, Eugene McEwen, finishes with 258, so. He's gonna be plus 152 after three. That's, uh, that's averaging pretty good no matter what lane condition you're on. Pretty good shot, but that 10 pins, it's gonna cost Tony. He's gonna go backwards a bit now. Anybody's handed on the carpet yet? <laughs>
going to be a good game for Gary Livingston. That's going to put him. Probably up into the top six, which is Forty-two. That's a nice game for Gary. Well, Eugene's sitting on top at plus 152, but if Keith Lesko can get the first two strikes here, he can take over the lead. No matter what happens, he's in really good shape. Dave Axon shoots 216. That'll get him back to even for the day. Keith didn't love that shot, but the result was hard to argue with. Keith's going to get close, but he's going to stay in second place with a spare here. So going into game four, your tournament leader will be Eugene McCune, and your second place will be Keith Lesko. We'll be back shortly with game four.
267 for Keith Westwood. Nice bowling.